In this video, I'm going to demonstrate why your company should be thinking about continuous delivery. So what is continuous delivery? Continuous delivery is a capability to continually deploy software to production as frequently as needed. So why should I do this? To improve speed to market, ensure high quality, deploying code in a seamless, no longer strenuous fashion, it improves your disaster recovery and business continuity, as well as improving business agility. Meet Joe, our engineer. Joe has been asked to deploy an emergency fix to the company's website, which is currently stopping them from taking transactions. Joe has no testers available to test his fix and the company have decided to take the risk of pushing his code to production. Joe creates a build and deploys it to production. The build does fix the existing problem but it has caused a new defect that stops the customers from using any other part of the site. Joe's boss is not happy and blames Joe for the business losing millions of dollars whilst they fix the newly introduced defect. The new defect has been fixed but Joe's company is overly cautious of deploying any more code and this slowness to market is costing Joe's company millions of dollars whilst their competitors introduce more and more rich functionality to their offerings. In the meantime Joe has heard a lot about automation and decides to build an automated solution that will help him deliver production grade builds to production multiple times a day. We call this the continuous delivery pipeline. Joe's continuous delivery pipeline consists of the following modular parts. Source control management. Continuous integration to run things such as unit tests. Systems integration tests. Operational acceptance tests. Security tests and compliance tests. Some are mandatory and others are optional. Joe determined the steps in his pipeline by mapping out the process it would have originally taken to take a build from his development environment, ran the various manual tests against the build to verify that the build was ready for production. The final stage of Joe's continuous delivery pipeline is the deployment. Now, instead of taking a build directly from Joe's development environment, Joe now invokes a job which pushes a build through his continuous delivery pipeline. Thus, if all tests passing, Joe's build will now become a certified, ready to be deployed to production build. The final part of a continuous delivery pipeline is the capability to take a build that is fit and ready for production and deliver it directly to the live environment. Now Joe can deliver to production multiple times a day knowing with the confidence that his builds are production ready. As mentioned earlier, some of the parts of the pipeline are mandatory and some are optional. The ones in between the arrows are optional. Now Joe, instead of having to wait, potentially for hours, to identify any problems with his build, is notified through a fast feedback loop via his dashboard, informing him of any potential problems or any problems with his build. So how is this achieved? Firstly, you have to build an environment. We refer to this as provisioning. This could be any type of environment that is required. Once you have an environment, you have to configure it to your needs. For example, configuring Apache or IIS to serve web content. Once you have your configured environments, the key to this next successful step is automating and being able to rebuild these environments on demand. After you have 
all of your configured environments, you need a layer that will manage the workflow of the build so that it passes from one test type to another, either continuing with the pipeline or stopping the line depending on the status of the build and its success criteria. Now we have a happy Joe. Why don't you see if you and your company could also benefit from implementing a continuous delivery pipeline?